turned up its duration as well. Kind of open it up, see the fog. You can see it's run by a wiper motor off a PC power supply. Got a little fogger in here. That thing in the back does moaning. And then just everything tied into the motion sensor down here at the bottom. So uh, we've wired a relay to actually fire the fogger. You can see it over there by the plug. So it does us a real good job. Over there you can see the witch. She's powered by another wiper motor. And we've got a uh, piece of PVC running into the back end over to, to handle the fogging. We'll walk around. We've got our greeter. His eyes glow in the dark. It's hard to see in the daylight, but he triggered off the monster in a box. And we've got our lightning modules. We've got two of those spots that are wired into a uh, perfect storm uh, lightning module. So, as you can see, it flashes the lightning strikes. We've got our graveyard. <coughs> our tombstones and our homemade crosses and our uh, groundbreaker. Uh, with a flicker lantern that we built using uh, basically a night light and uh, a uh, just a fluorescent starter. You can find that on the internet easy enough. Got our floating ghosts. Got our flying crank. He hangs out and just swings all night. Pretty cool. Got our spider victim this year. And if we get over here to the witch, you can see down in there that we just got a wiper motor helping uh, stir her cauldron. And then here comes the fog pouring out. So just, you know, some Christmas lights and wiper motor and now she's getting real foggy. And it, this is uh, actually a thousand watt fogger, so it just pours out. We've got it turned up right now for the video, but usually it's a slower burst, so it kind of looks like it's cooking. It all depends on the winds. So, and just that quick, you'll notice it'll start clearing up. So, we line the yard off, try to keep people, you know, from getting over in the wires and stuff, but. <coughs> Quite obviously the fence we made. Got that off the internet too. You know, just PVC and basically lattice uh, wood. You can see some of it needs a little repair, but that actually adds to some of the eeriness. Well, carefully get through the graveyard here. Here's the monster in the box from the back. We actually built that uh, out of plywood and two by twos. So that uh, it's fairly sturdy, quite obviously. 
and uh, it really scares the, the kids. We had a lot of scares this year from that, but come up here and get the flying crank goes. If you look up at the top, you'll see that he's actually powered by another wiper motor. And it will rock and roll all day long. They're a little bit of a pain to set up in the beginning, but after you get it going, it's pretty good. We've got our victim here. I don't even think so. I'm going to try to flip him on real quick. He lights up. And it's a pretty common prop. Uh, relatively inexpensive. Um, he was covered in this material. Uh, after a couple of years, it kind of rotted away, as you can see. So we've come in and, and actually made chain for his cage. So that seems to add to it. We wired that little light in off power supply so it comes on when the uh, honk comes on. And you see the witches over there just pouring stuff out. So, over here, we've got her rocking granny. She's not rocking real hard right now, but she's got a wiper motor in her back that just uh, keeps her moving all day with her little baby. You can't see it right now, but we actually have a video that we shoot on this screen. Uh, we had a giant eyeball that kind of hung out all uh, Halloween night. And uh, here we've got high voltage and uh, death row. We just uh, we added a fogger under it and pointed at this little box we built. It's triggered by uh, this motion sensor and uh, then this pressure pad, which you know the instructions on that are on the internet. But the pressure pad triggers is a little thing here. And the motion triggers the fogger, and uh, to keep everything safe. We built a little box for all the wiring to go into to help keep any rain or anything out of it. We had a small strobe. It was one of the small battery operated strobes. We went ahead and wired it uh, for a wall wart so they can run it all the time. Kind of help us gain uh, attention in the neighborhood. We just got this, you know, standard 12 volt uh, revolving light rocking. And it does a really good job. And uh, this year we added spots on several things to try to make it not quite as uh, dark. As you can see, there's wires everywhere, so that's something we have to be real careful of when we're running the haunt. We built this little seesaw. We found the plans on the internet as well. Uh, added some zombie babies. We made the babies. Uh, as far as zombies, they, uh, you know, thrift store had some dolls on sale. So we took and painted them up and added some lights. The center console is so big because we're going to eventually add sound and stuff to it as well. Not quite there yet. As you can see though, it's also run by a wiper motor. And it just sits and rocks. And then of course, don't forget our big friend up here. He's fairly scary. We're going to have to work on rewiring or re uh, covering him. I mean, we do use stuff that's not necessarily outdoor props outdoors, and sometimes the material they cover them with are not real, gr real grand. So, yes, the trigger on that monster and boss is real sensitive. So, even though I'm this far away, it's still triggering it. So, then we've got our uh, refrigerator or body parts. And uh, all the body parts that are in there are commercially bought. The refrigerator is literally just an old refrigerator we had. So, wired it up with orange lights. It looked real good at night. And, and it's fairly spooky. Uh, you know, you get the eyeballs and the hand pieces and, you know, the packages of different things. And then this is, you know, Deadhead Fred. And he's got his fresh meat and he's got his cleaver and his knife. And, uh, you know, to be honest, these are made just with chicken wire forms on PVC, as you can see there. 
and then commercial mask I literally had this old chef's jacket so that kind of added to it uh, our porch this year we, we do seem to do something different every year this year we actually used black bed sheets that we caught on sale to uh, shroud everything off and kind of set the stage um, you know we uh, utilize what we have a lot of the times and then kind of add to it you can't really see it in the daylight but we, we came in and we added eyeball lights into the bushes and these are just uh, eyeballs you can get at the dollar store you know we drilled them out and hot glued them to some uh, some Christmas lights really <coughs> then my wife kind of had spooky cloth and stuff to this to kind of make it as eerie as possible and trust me at night it is fairly eerie um, you know we kept the lights low but, but bright enough to be safe quite obviously and uh, but it added an eerie effect and then we added these little skull lights just again for safety more than anything because it kind of lights up this area and makes it look good um, you know we've got these commercial pumpkins but we actually cut the cut the tops off as you can see they're just foam and then added some multicolored LEDs to them that way you know we didn't have the fire hazard or anything like that and uh, every year depending on our theme we make signs so we actually make that uh, made the frame uh, that is real glass we cut and paint and uh, so that looks real good and so this is kind of our haunt uh, this is about our fourth year of doing it so it's taken you know that long to accumulate a lot of this stuff we try to do a fresh build every year um, it, it, you know there's a lot of good information out there's a lot of people that love to haunt even though in some ways Halloween's dying uh, in that you know there's not as many people even available to trick-or-treaters and all but uh, the ones that are out there seem to be doing a really good job so uh, you know this year as you can tell it was a green mile you know had to have our execution I've seen and we actually took uh, latex paint and painted the sidewalks you can kind of see the difference quick pressure wash that'll come off but uh, this is our you know our haunt for 2013 and we you know had a lot of trick-or-treaters everybody seemed to really enjoy it and in about 10 minutes we're about to start taking it down and re you know getting it stored up so that it can come back for 2014 so hope everybody had a happy halloween and uh enjoys the haunt <laughs>